Hey Deckers, can you spot something different with this GeForce Now image considering it's running on the Steam Deck? Yes, we've got a huge announcement. Nvidia has finally launched the native Steam Deck app for GeForce Now. So we've got a bit of a different layout. Everything is now controller friendly, so you can do everything with the controller on the device. And we even get 4K support if connected to an external screen now or 120 FPS at 1440p as well. No 90 FPS at the moment on the OLED, but that is coming soon. You can over push it with 120 and downscale it back to 90 on the deck, but we do not advise that as you will get some micro stutter. But if you can cope with it, then go ahead. But keeping this at 60 frames per second will give you a much better and stable experience. There is one other minor tweak that we want to do for this, and that is to change the controller layout from the standard mouse trackpad layout to a slightly customized version where we change the right trackpad click to a left mouse click rather than it being a joystick click. I have created a community layout for this if you don't want to fiddle with the settings and you just want to pick one from the store. So just have a look for GeForce Now gamepad with mouse trackpad from Marchief, then your trackpad will be a proper mouse if you need to use it elsewhere. Now to install this, just switch to desktop mode from the power menu and go to geforcenow.com in your favorite internet browser. On this page, just select the download option in the top menu, and you will get the option saying to get started on the Steam Deck as it should detect that you're running it from the deck, and it will ask for confirmation before you download that file. So either download it from here, or if you don't see that for whatever reason, you can just scroll down to the bottom, and there is a gaming handheld devices section, and you can just select the get started from Steam Deck. Now, once that file is downloaded, it will be a zip file. So just open and extract that into your downloads folder and then run the GeForce Now setup. Don't run this from the browser if it does open up directly. Run it from the actual Dolphin Explorer. Double click this and you should have an execute dialog and you'll have to confirm this as well. This can take a couple of minutes to install, so just bear with it. It doesn't hang, it just does take a while. If you have the old WebRTC version, it does uninstall that and replace it with the native app, which can take a little bit of extra time. Once that's done, you can switch to game mode and sign in or sign in via desktop mode. I did find that easier first off, especially as I have mine linked to my Google account, which was already signed in, so much quicker. Once we are back in game mode though, we can now run this at 800p and dial up Doom Dark Ages to Nightmare and you'll see just how smooth and good this looks. This is so much better than the WebRTC version. There was a very minor amount of input latency when using the previous method via Chrome. That is now all gone. And if you have a stable internet connection, you're gonna feel like you are running on the most powerful handheld in the world when you're playing these games. As you can see, the game's pushing over 120 frames per second, but the stream is synced at 60, and it's perfectly smooth for Doom Dark Ages. Now, back to my favorite game of Expedition 33. Again, at 800p, we can run this at four epic settings with DLSS on DLAA, and it is super crisp and clean, and just like native to get those parries, which is super satisfying. But what you may have noticed at the beginning of this video is that if you connect up a 4K display, you can run the stream at 4K and your game at 4K and still push those epic settings, but this is where games really do start taking a hit at the 4K mark. So DLAA isn't quite possible with Expedition 33 at 4K, so you will have to put DLSS on quality to get a stable 40 plus or dial those settings down a little bit. 4K is gorgeous on bigger screens, but to be honest, if you have a decent screen and you're not sat right in front of it for these type of games, then running at 1440p, dialing the settings up, not having the upscaling is generally better overall. See if you can notice the difference between this and a 1440p image if you set it up so you can get that higher FPS. I'll leave you with a bit more of the gameplay here at 4K streaming from GeForce Now. This is running on the Steam Deck so you can see and appreciate just how good this is. Check out the link in the description below to go directly to the store and choose your tier. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.